Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here today. My name is Bo Hao Wang. I am from Zhejiang University, China. Today, I am excited to share our latest research, Distributionally Robust Graph-Based Recommendation System. This work is jointly completed by researchers from Zhejiang University, Hangzhou City University, and Intelligence Indeed. Uh, the objective of recommender systems is to learn models from uh, historical user item interactions to predict items that users may find interesting. Graph-based recommender systems uh, utilizing gene to model interactions have attracted uh, widespread attention due to their impressive performance. In traditional recommendation, we usually operate under the ID assumption that the training data and the test sets follow the same data distribution. Under this assumption, the test error can be bounded by the training error, providing theoretical guarantees for the model's performance. However, a phenomenon known as out of distribution is observed in real applications where the training date distribution differs from the test date. This discrepancy can significantly degrade the model performance. Uh, in recommender systems, numerous factors can lead to uh, all these scenarios. One example is the evolving interests of, uh, of users over time. Uh, for instance, a user who initially enjoyed watching uh, science fiction movies might over time develop an interest in uh, documentaries or other type of uh, movies. Uh, consequently, the user behavior model learned from old dates would no longer be applicable to new dates. Besides, various state biases such as popularity bias or exposure bias can also lead to a shift, resulting in a mismatch between the distribution of training data and the ideal test date. Uh, in order to more clearly reflect the imp impact of distribution shifts on model performance, we conducted uh, experiments on MF and LIGCN under both ID and OD conditions. Uh, it can be found that both MF and LIGCN exhibit a significant performance decline under OD conditions. Uh, additionally, the performance advantage of uh, LIGCN over uh, MF under ID is noticeably diminished under all the conditions, which means gene-based recommendation systems are more susceptible to distribution shifts. So this work focuses on improving the robustness of graph-based recommendation system against the distribution shift. Uh, we then consider employing a technique named uh, distributionally robust optimization, shorted as DRO, to tackle the issue, uh, which is an optimization framework designed to enhance the robustness of model under uncertain conditions. Uh, let's first provide a brief introduction to DRO. The DRO can be expressed in a bi-level optimization problem with, where the uh, in the max layer uh, seeks to find a distribution that maximizes the objective function, while the outer main layer uh, optimizes func function under this uh, worst case distribution. Moreover, it is necessary to, um, to ensure that the distance between the worst case distribution and the ori original date distribution remains within a threshold range to prevent the identify the worst case distribution from being meaningless. Yeah. Uh, traditional optimization methods often rely on precise state distributions which might not be accurately known or may change. DRO addresses this issue by uh, considering a range of possible distributions, so-called uh, uncertainty set, instead of a single fixed one. Therefore, DRO can ensure that the model performs well on a family of distributions around the training date. However, incorporating DRO into graph-based recommender systems poses two significant challenges. First, the applications of DRO on complex graph dates uh, remains an open problem. 
A new interpretation of light GCN from the perspective of a smoothness regularizer will shed light on how this issue uh, can be tackled. The lemma on the right established the equivalence between the graph aggregation in light GCN and the uh, smoothness regularizer. This inspires us that the impact of distribution shift on graph-based models is manifested in the shift of neighbor node distributions. Therefore, we then consider left region KL-based uh, DL in the regularizer, uh, which can be formalized as the uh, following formula. Uh, the second challenge stems from the sparse nature of recommendation uh, system date. Due to uh, relative few uh, user interactions, each node has, uh, has relative few neighboring nodes. Uh, for DRO, the support of distributions in the uncertainty set is constrained to a sparse set of neighbor nodes. This limitation increases the uh, risk of missing the ideal distribution and dampen the ability of DRO. To address this issue, we introduce GEA module, which applies a perturbation to the distribution of neighboring nodes. Uh, this perturbation expands the support of the original distribution, thereby enlarging the uncertainty set and mitigating the negative impart, uh, impact of data sparsity. Uh, additionally, we consider adjusting the distribution of neighboring nodes towards minimizing the regularizer. This is predicated on the understanding that a smaller regularizer indicates a, a higher similarity among, among nodes, thereby increasing the likelihood of, uh, of them being neighbors. Uh, the complex optimization problem above has a very efficient implementation. We name our algorithm as DRGNN which can be simply implemented by just adjusting the uh, edge weights and adding new neighbor nodes for each node, sparing the complex op optimization. Uh, the execution of this operation on the GPU is highly efficient. Therefore, DRGN will not incur significant additional overhead uh, compared to light GCN. Um, about experiments, uh, comparative experiments are conducted, uh, are conducted on eight data sets under three common OD settings uh, in recommendation. Uh, three categories of distribution shifts arise from distinct underlying factors, such as um, uh, variations in item popularity, uh, discrepancies in the time periods of interaction, and exposure bias. Uh, we can see DRGN achieved uh, promising results either matching uh, or improve uh, over strong contemporary baselines. Uh, to better demonstrate the effectiveness of DRGN, we visualized the, uh, the embeddings of items on a two-dimensional plane uh, using TSNE. Uh, distinguishing between hot and cold items based on their popularity, it can be observed that for light GCN, uh, there is a clear distinction between the hot and the cold items, indicating that the model will perform bad on days after changes in item popularity. In contrast, the embeddings learned by DRGN show hot and cold items distributed in the same area. Uh, suggesting that the model disregards the uh, impact of item popularity. Um, this allows it to be better adapted to, uh, uh, to, to negative effects brought by uh, changes in popularity, demonstrating stronger robustness. Uh, additionally, the role of a crucial hyperparameter alpha uh, has also been explored, which is used to control the size of the uncertainty set within DRO. Um, a small alpha results in, uh, results in a larger uncertainty set. Uh, we also uh, validate this conclusion from the perspective of the experiments. First, uh, we ob observed that the model's performance uh, increases with an increase in alpha and then 
decreases. That's because both the excessively large and the small uncertainty sets can impact model performance. If the uncertainty set is too large, the worst case distribution might be um, meaningless or noisy. Uh, when the uncertainty set is excessively small, they are well uh, degenerate into ERM, uh, so-called uh, empirical risk minimization. Uh, furthermore, the relationship between degrees of distribution shift and the value of optimal alpha is explored. We examine uh, on three data sets, uh, Amazon, Book, Guala, and uh, Douban. Characterized by different degrees of popularity shift, the KL divergence of item popularity distributions between a training, training set and a test set is used to quantify the extent of distribution shift. We found that uh, data sets with a larger degree of shift require a, small, uh, a smaller optimal alpha, as they necessitate a larger uncertainty set to include, uh, uh, include the ideal distribution. While data sets with a small, smaller degree of shift perform better with a larger alpha. Uh, the above exploration further enhanced the interpretability of our method. Uh, finally, we make a short summary. Uh, DRGN is a simple but effective algorithm to enhance the robustness of uh, GN-based recommendation systems and has good interpretability and theoretical guarantees. Uh, moreover, we prove its effectiveness through various experiments. Our code is now available on GitHub, and we welcome you to check it out. Uh, that's all. Thank you. Uh, if there are any questions.